Well, hello, fellow Liberty classmates, disciples of Christ, and brothers and sisters in the faith. My name is George Dunn, and I have chosen to do my video presentation on Daniel in the lion's den, uh, comparing it to a challenge I once endured. I hope this finds you well and serves to encourage you. So without further ado, Daniel's persistence to pray three times a day at risk of being thrown into the lion's den is like something I was once challenged with. Though my life was not in jeopardy like Daniel's, my family's and my livelihood were threatened when my boss charged me to stop sharing the good news about Jesus at the workplace or I'd be fired. I only evangelized when I uh, and a co-worker were on break. Uh, however, regardless of the potential penalties, I continued to share my faith, like Daniel, who, quote, when ordered not to pray to anyone but the local king, continued praying to God three times a day with the windows open, close quote, as quoted in our textbook, Courageous Faith. Daniel's account shows the strength of conviction uh, even when facing opposition and danger. And though my story didn't require the same level of courage as Daniel's, my story is comparable. Daniel's account shows his devotion to God even at the expense of death. He didn't hide his prayers, but did so publicly, which displayed his non-negotiable and unwavering commitment to God. Again, a quote from Courageous Faith says, quote, when people are willing to die for what they believe, they will also be willing to live for what they believe. Close quote. And that rings true with Daniel's decision. In my experience, I faced a choice to stay silent about my beliefs and keep my job or to stand firm in my faith. My first pastor would always say, faith is obedience based upon trusting God regardless of the circumstances or consequences. Just as Daniel prioritized his relationship with God over compliance with the king's decrees, I prioritized sharing my faith knowing it could cost me my job. That choice made a difference in my surroundings. Co-workers began to appreciate the seriousness of my beliefs, and while not everyone agreed, others were now willing to talk about faith. Daniel's role model of bravery, integrity, and perseverance inspires me to continue living out my faith without compromise. When willing to face the lions rather than compromise his faith, Daniel showed us that God is more important than any challenge. I no longer face this particular challenge and was never fired. But looking back, I realize how knowing Daniel's example strengthened my resolve. His account should inspire believers to trust God fully, even amidst adversity and danger. And just as God protected Daniel in the lion's den, he was with me as I endured the risks of sharing my faith. This account in the book of Daniel helps me to understand that God is with me, whatever my situation. And it reminds me that to live my life by faith doesn't mean to run from danger, but to trust in God and his plans. And then I get to be part in his story. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, that's my video presentation. And um, let's close in prayer. Our God and our Father, I pray that this story serves to encourage others not to lose sight of what is important. And that is to honor you above everything else, no matter the cost. I thank you for this opportunity. And may our class have your favor and be blessed. We pray all these things in the precious, saving, and mighty name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen.